Welcome back to Big Boy. Man, I'm checking in with you guys because I have a little uh, tactical conundrum. I, I'm unsure what to be doing here. Let's just adjust the camera a little bit. So there's this situation where Russians have to move forces from A to B, you know. They come on the board over here. And I rolled up a, a plan to, uh, you, you know, put three plans together and we're picking one and the one that we picked by die roll is to not follow the roads either side, but to try and go across the mountain, the hill, using this trail and, uh, and you know, force the, their way off the map. Well, <laughs> you know, I'm trying to at least have a ex little exploration of the flanks to see how dangerous it is. You know, you've got to, got to have some suspension of disbelief or whatever. Or maybe you don't, I don't know. But uh, I'm too scared to go out in the open because everything's going to die. And we've already seen one, two, three, four vehicles pasted. Uh, over here on the, on the right, we lost a vehicle rushing across the open. The, a Milan took it out. Uh, he's since moved. These guys are kind of recovering from their suppression in the corner over there, and everybody else is uh, sort of yet is just making their way onto the board. And it's uh, the third turn, and I've already lost as the Soviets four vehicles, three tanks, and one uh, recon. Just a beat down. So I, I'm double. I'm not sure what the best mode is to, to move. So for instance, this guy starts here. And I'm wondering whether I uh, might be better off he's actually facing this way. You know, trying to make it one, two, three, four, five, he's gonna be right out in the open, he's gonna get a whole bunch of Overwatch shots taken on him. Uh, and even if we didn't know that the Overwatch commands were available, I'd leave them all face up because I'm playing solo. But if I didn't know, I would probably guess that these guys would have some forces in overwatch particularly these guys on the on the left hand side to your left over here these fellas here these guys can't see anything except uh, uh but these guys could they could hit this hex right here it's uh, oh actually no they can't because they're off the side so they can't so maybe going straight is a good idea let's see what happens let's move five hexes and we'll pick up the overwatch uh we'll pick up the overwatch shots in, in, as we as we do this one two Let's see if there's, there's no overwatch from the right because we've got cover, cover from these trees. And those guys just moved actually. I need to put a marker on them so I keep track of this since we're doing a video. So those guys have moved. Um, and one of these guys moved down here. But from here on the left, this dude, one of these dudes here, this bottom dude under the commander, he has a shot and these guys, this guy will have a shot as well. Uh, and I'm going to use the uh, Jaguar with the missile because they have the best chance of making a, making a hit and a penetration. You're not going to, it's a rising shot once again. So what we'll do is we'll overwatch with this guy first. And then if it doesn't penetrate or misses, then once this chap gets down on the level, then we'll hit him from the side and see what happens. So we've got one, two, so two there. Let's grab some dice and roll. And we're gonna do that. Might as well just do it now. I was just gonna do a strategy tactical video with you, but hey, let's do it. Uh, we're not gonna worry about the pluses and minuses to armor piercing roll. So this die will be the damage die and this die will be the location die. So I rolled the 37, that's going to be a hit. It's gonna be on the two spot, and we roll the one for damage. So we don't even need to look, we don't need to look for adjustments. That's, that's a miss. So that guy, that guy has fired and now exposed himself. So that's a miss. One, two, three. I, I'm not gonna do a bailout check. I, I think it's, I think bailouts are stupid unless you're, you're damaged. Yeah, they're fine. Uh, two, three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. He's a little, a little far. I want, I want to get him a little bit closer. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's just about right. That's where we're going to try and hit that guy. So we're going to go for it, and that's going to be a miss. Okay. So here's my fear, unrealized, 
we roll the 93 and the other dice don't matter so that's a big whiff uh, so this dude has moved and finished his movement and my my overwatch here is complete and that guy survived unfortunately he's the only other guy moving you know what I, well here's what I'm going to do I'm going to change this order to a move order these guys have to move that's just silly sitting there I got really uh, as a poor command decision so we're going to give ourselves the benefit of the doubt there and we'll just live with it probably help for this tank is facing the right way now that I'm more cocky you watch me roll three three uh, you know, critical hits in a row here so we're going to go one here and I'm going to look for opportunity fires and this does that Mardo have a, uh, a weapon it does look at that bad boy those Jaguars get a penetration of 180 that is insane uh, okay so the the Mardo has only got a 130 penetration but I think that's going to be okay coming up against the T-55 Mm. Ooh, it might be. He might not be able to make it on a T55. Depends where we hit. Let's see. Oh yeah, he may not make it. Well, well let's have a look. So like, this is where we'll have to use the chart. So I, I'm going to overwatch this chappy. Oh, he can't from here. He would have to. He's down a level. Down a level, so we can't see because he's so, set back so far. These guys are on the top of the hill. They couldn't see. All right, so he might be clear. Oh, I do have this this Jaguar here. No, this Marty here. So he will take a shot in a minute. So that's one to there, two to there, three to there, four to there. We'll do him on the level, and now we'll uh, we'll take a shot. I'm sorry if that light's bothering you guys. Let me. There we go. Probably didn't realize that. Okay, so here's what's going on. We've got a T55. We've got a Marta shooting. And we're going to roll some dice. This is going to be a relatively close one because we've got an opportunity fire. Depends on what the roll is here. We need to look at it. 63. Range doesn't matter. It's going to be a point blank shot. It's going to be in location 4. And it's going to be a brew up of, uh, if, we, if we make it happen. Right. So he's spotted. He's moving. It's overwatch. So that's going to drop it down... Uh, Target moving, can drop it down minus one. And then we do have the plus one for the NATO target acquisition bonus. So on a point blank, makes it an 81. I roll the 63, so we're good for a hit. That means we're going to hit it on location four. Location four is going to be, I'll just hold this here so you can see it. Location four, uh, coming in from the front side is going to be turret side, 3-4, turret side, I'm calling that side. Let me just check my little diagram, I've got a little diagram I use to, to spot for that. Yeah, definitely in front side, probably right, yes, front side, and then, so now what I need is the, the CE value, so we're going to go level, turret side, it's only 35, so even with the benefit of this of the CE armor, which I'm, I'm, I need to roll for, I'm going to roll to make sure there's. Uh, shoot, I dropped. I roll a ten. That means I think it's seven or less, five or less. Yeah, here it is, seven or less. So we're good. We're uh, so that is definitely a hit, and it is going to cause uh, a a brew up on an. Uh, Oh no, it's a knockout. I'm sorry, it is a knockout. Because eight ATM, eight TGMs, seven through ten are a knockout. Never get it right every time, all the time, first time. That's just kind of the way it is. Okay, so that dude has fired the the vehicle. This dude has moved, so he doesn't get to do anything. Um, I don't know that I have any other shots that I can take at these guys. These fellas, because there was, it's only a, uh, it's only a, uh, on a brewer that you're automatically suppressed. 
another tank destroyed there. And now we're going to have, we would have to go and check our losses and see how many, uh, this is going to affect the number of units we have available, which is going to affect the number of commands we have and may actually force us to the break point where we will now have to have to start rolling for hesitation and that's going to impact, that's going to uh, provide a modifier for pretty much every die roll if these guys uh, get into that break point uh, of the game. And they're pretty close because they've lost uh, one, two, three, they've lost four out of nine tanks and a scout. But none of their BMPs or infantry have been affected yet. Here are the BMPs over there. All right, we'll go check all that. You don't want to uh, watch me uh, look up tables and stuff. That's kind of boring. But just thought I'd check in with a little bit more uh, MBT FRG module. Talk to you soon. Let me just recap on that uh, cohesion point commentary that I was about to try and make. I may splice these two videos together here. So with cohesion points, that we, when we want to check that, what we need to do is look at the, the CP rating or the cohesion point rating for the scenario, which should be outlined in the details in the, in the scenario booklet. And in, in this particular one, because it's a custom scenario, it, it, I didn't think it had the CP points, but it does. So there's a uh, CP rating of nine for the Soviets, and they've only taken five losses so they have not reached their CP rating yet, which means we don't need to roll for breaking or hesitation or anything like that. So that's the good news there. So we can, can carry on uh, full steam ahead. However, they now do only have nine commands per turn instead of 11 commands per turn. Uh, I don't think that's gonna affect them too much because they're in some fairly uh, decent sized stacks and they have to be close together to have commands shared and stuff like that anyway. All right. Thought I'd share that with you. Ciao.